Hello world, welcome back to my channel. I am Sahil and uh, we are developing an e-commerce project using Laravel 10 and in previous video you already seen how I implemented address relation manager within this order resource. Now today in this video I'm going to show you how to work on order stats and I will also show you how to create a group of tab over this uh, table to filter the orders based on the uh, status of the order okay so let's uh, first start with the order stats so first let me open the filament php official documentation and inside this if you uh, inside this panel builder if you go below then you will find these widgets okay so click on this widget and scroll below then you will find this command so i will copy this command and open your vs code and open a new terminal now i will paste the command here so you can see the command is php artisan make hyphen filament uh, sorry php artisan make colon filament hyphen visit okay now here you can see this is the name of the visit so i will remove this and i will name order stats and this widget will be display uh, display within the order resource so here i will write the resource name so i will write order resource okay now if i press enter then it is asking what type of widget do you want to create so i want to create stats overview widget so i will select one and i will press enter now it is asking one more question where would you like to create this so i i would like to create within admin panel so i will write admin and if i press enter then uh, you can see there is a new file created so let me close this uh, terminal now if you go to this app directory then this filament directory <coughs> and then inside this order resource there is a new folder created with name widgets now if you open this directory then you will find this order stats.php file okay now inside this uh, get stats method i will define all the uh, stats of the order okay so uh, let me uh, remove this comment and first i will uh, use this stat class okay so make sure to import this class first and then i will use make method then uh, here i will write uh, the heading okay so i will use new orders new orders and in second argument you have to uh, fetch the total count of the new orders from the database so for this i will use order <coughs> order model and then i will use query method then i will use where method and i will write status is equal to new and then i will use count method okay now if i save this and go to the browser and reload then nothing is showing here above this table okay so to make the widget visible just above this table you have to go to this pages directory and then click on this list orders.php file okay now here we have to define a method <coughs> so just below this method i will define another method to display the widget over the table okay so here i will write protected protected function get header widgets okay so we have to use this get header widgets uh, method okay and here uh, i will use return return and inside this return we have to pass we have to call the order stats class okay in array format so i will write order stats class that's it just close the statement <coughs> save this file and now if i reload then you will find a new card with the new order heading and count is zero so basically there is no new order right now because there is, and there are only two orders available in the database and both are of different status now if i make this new then you can see the count has been updated in the stats okay so like this uh, we will create uh, three more stats 
card and will display in the same line so for this just go to this order stats.php file and <coughs> now i will create one more stats so i will again use stat class and then i will use make and this time i will write order processing order processing and like above i will again use order model then i will use query then again here i will use where and again i will use status and here i will write processing processing then i will use count method now if i save this and if i reload the page then again here you can see there are two cards showing okay so one order is uh, with the new status and another one is with the processing status if i change to shift then you can see the let me reload okay so you can see the stats updated and there is no processing order so so in zero here let me <coughs> duplicate this line and uh, here i will write order shift order shift and here i will change the condition only shift okay and i will also display a stat of average price okay so to make this i will again use stat class then i will use make and here i will write average price average price and here i will use number uh, number helper class and then i will use currency method to format sorry currency and inside currency i will use order model and then i will use query and again here i will use a v g so it will it will uh, get average from the grand total column okay so here i will write grand t o t l total okay and uh, here we have to just write the currency so i will use inr now if i save and if i reload the browser then you can see all the okay it is showing in dollar let me okay so this is okay so we have to use inr here okay now if i save this and reload then you can see the rupee symbol okay so this is order stats you can all uh, you can display this uh, widget just below this table if you want to display just below the table then you can uh, use another method in list order.php file so in this case you can write protected function get footer widgets okay so we have to uh, use this method to display the stats just below the table now if i write return and again i will use order stats class and close the array statement now if i reload then you can see the stats is showing above the table and also below the table okay but i want to display just uh, above the table so i will not use this method so i will remove this okay so <coughs> uh, order stats is completed now let's move on to tab group okay so for tab group uh, what i will do is i will go to this list order.php file and here i will define a new method okay so here i will write public uh, function public function and i will use get tabs get tabs method okay so inside this method we have to uh, define all the tab okay so here it will accept an array in return so i will use return and inside this first i will use null and then i will use this tab class so you have to uh, you have to import uh, this uh, 
this tab class okay so if you see here use filament resource component and tab okay so you have to import this class and then <coughs> here i will use make method and here i will write all now if i save and go to the browser and reload then you will find a tab uh, with a single button all okay similarly i will create all other tab so for new order i will write new and then i will use tab and then i will use make make sorry, make make and now here i will use query and i will use a callback function so i will use fn and then i will use query okay now i will use arrow and then i will use query and then i will use where method and inside this where method i will write status uh, is equal to new so it it will fetch all the orders with the new status from the database okay so if i save this and go to the browser and reload then here you can see a new tab is showing now in table you can see all the two orders are visible now if i click on new then you can see only uh, order with the new status is showing in the table so it is working fine now if i click on all then you can see all the orders is showing in the table so similarly i will copy the same thing and here uh, i will use processing and also change the, the value processing here again duplicate and this time i will use shift so i will write shift and also change the value change the key of the array to shift and again copy and this time i will use daily daily word copy the same value and just paste here again duplicate and this time i will use cancelled c a n c double -E -E cancelled if i copy and paste here re save the file and go to the browser and reload so you can see all the tab group are now showing so if i click on cancelled then there is no order with the cancelled uh, status that's why here no order showing okay now if i click on delivered then in deliver uh, with the deliver uh, status there is no order if i click on shift then there is one order with the shift status that's why only one uh, order is showing here like this we can also see only processing order or we can only see the new orders by default it will be uh it will display all the orders okay so this is the stats and this is the tab group so that's it for this video in next video i will show you how to work on order relation manager with this user uh, resource okay so when we uh, open any user uh, then we will list all the order associated with this user just below uh, this uh, this form okay so thanks for watching this video if you liked this video then hit on like button and please subscribe my channel